Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a fun video where we are going to unbox and test out the new Melt Makeup Amore Eterno collection. Look how incredible this packaging is. It feels like metal, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but it's just all this beautiful picture carved into it. And this is so cute. So this is their PR package. So it's what the influencers would receive. And it retails for... $2.99 on their website once it's released and um but they had a pre-sale a uh, couple maybe a week ago and you had to have their password in order to go to it but if you were signed up for their emails and you got the password so I got it I logged on and then I received it I'm so excited <laughs> and there's even like melt lipsticks up here it's so cool but looking at the whole collection I'm like every single thing that's in this release I I want I need to have because it's all just so gorgeous so this is what it looks like when you open it there's a two palettes up there and then here's all of these products below and i will show you an up close version of that so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and jump into the video so that we can test out the products and i will see you guys in a few seconds <laughs> when you open it up and this is what it looks like inside you have the two palettes on the top and then all of the other products down below and that's just beautiful in itself right there so when you open this we have the two palettes here and you have a little thing where you can take them out of the sides and then underneath is the same picture so each of these palettes is going to be 50 dollars each when they're released so the first thing I'm going to pull out of the box is the highlight, and that retails for $39. And it has this beautiful packaging, so you just slide it out, and look at this. That's incredible. All of this has been carved out into the paper. And then this shade, it's Illumination Digital Dust Highlights. Let's see if I can get it open here. <laughs> and and let me just look at that. Isn't that incredible oh my god it's like gold with shifts of pink in it and then this gorgeous skull face in it oh my god and it's magnetic i love that <laughs> and then the next items we have are the liquid lipsticks we have the shade oh hello <laughs> we have the shade monarcha um hoping i'm pronouncing that correct uh fiesta and and then mariachi we have an orange lipstick, pink, and a purple. These are gorgeous. So the set of liquid lipsticks is going to be $40 on release day, or you can get each one for $19 if there's only one color or two colors that you want and not all three. And then we have the eyeliners here. We have, first we have the green eyeliner, which is Fortuna. If I'm butchering these names, I'm so sorry. Is. it's a nice dark green and then we have the black eyeliner and this is an immortal just a nice black eyeliner and then we have the kind of orange kind of I don't know it's like a a nice darker deeper orange it's so pretty i i was really excited for this one and for the orange lipstick uh this one is in cultura 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 and it is incredible that is just gorgeous i am so excited to use that i have so many ideas already i can't wait and then the last one is the blue, which is like a nice navy blue eyeliner, and it is so pretty. Oh my god, look at that. Blue is my favorite color in the entire world. It's so pretty. That one like looks metallic-y. Oh, that is gorgeous. So for the eyeliners, you can get the set of the eyeliners for $55, or you can pay $19 each. And then we have the gorgeous brush set here where we have the 777 Cara. Cara. It's gorgeous. Look at the detail on the brush. These are so soft. I already took them out. I haven't used them yet, but I was playing with them on my face. <laughs> and then we have this one, which is 818 Mezcla. 
And then we have this one, which is, it's a transition brush. It's 87 and it's called Transition. I think it's like Transition because it has like a little, little thing on it. Like there's an accent on it, but um, nice transition brush. It's gorgeous. And then we have this one, which is going to be gorgeous for creases. Sometimes it thinks it's kind of hard to get out there. And this is 517 Lovies, Lovies. All right, and then number 25, Precision. And I think it's again Precision or something, but um, it's a precision brush to be good for eyeliner and multiple other things. I mean, you can put concealer and do a cut crease. Lots of things with that. And then the final one, I'm excited for this because it looks like a pencil and it's for your eyeliner. And I just, I think this will be so nice for eyeliner on. And it is number 96, um, Linea, Lina, and it's for eyeliner. It's so pretty. And then you lift this up here and below is the makeup bag and this thing is gorgeous these pom-poms are so soft <laughs> and it matches the palettes um it matches the palettes with like the orange and red and then the blues it's just so pretty i love it so much so the bag and all of the brushes is 80 dollars for that set and individually this one is 25 18 18 and then 12 12 12 if you wanted to buy the brushes separate and if you just want the bag the bag is 15 dollars so for the palettes, we have this first one, which is Vida. And it is incredible. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Their packaging is the most beautiful packaging I have ever seen on makeup, truthfully. I feel like I'm doing that like secondhand challenge where it's like a person sitting here and then their hands. <laughs> but this is the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen on makeup in my life this is just gorgeous and this is kind of a velvety feel to it and then it has that kind of feel here too and then you open it up look how incredible this is i mean it's just stunning and then this palette is going to be um muret murete i'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing this right. <laughs> okay, you open it up and it has that same kind of glossy spot in some places. And then it has that kind of velvety, I guess it is feeling in here too. And then here's the palette. Oh my God, this one is just incredible. It is gorgeous. I just, I can't get over like this one and that and those. It is gorgeous. This one has three shimmer shades, whereas the other one, I'm pretty sure it only has two shimmer shades, one at each end. I just, I can't get over how pretty this one is. This is the one I was most excited for. I like the other one a lot, but I just really like my deep colors. Oh, it's so gorgeous. All right, so that is what the PR package looks like. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into playing with the actual makeup. I'm super excited. So we are going out to dinner tonight and I'm going to be doing a nice makeup for that. So I'm gonna go get changed, do the rest of my makeup, and then I will be back for the eye look and the highlight and the lips and all that. So yeah, I will see you guys soon. All right, so I have most of my face on now. I am just going to go in with this palette here, which is the Muret palette, I think is how it's pronounced. I'm hoping that's how it's pronounced. And then I'm gonna go in with the orange eyeliner and the shade Cultura, Cultura for the eyeliner. We're just going to go for a full on dark glammy look. So I'm gonna take the number 87 transition brush and I'm just going to use this in the shade Atoli. So I actually am gonna go into the Vita palette and I'm going to grab the shade Atoli and I'm just going to set my eyes and just give it a nice little base for it, um, for the look I'm about to do. I just want to give myself like a little base down. This is so pigmented. This is so nice. Oh my goodness. Like even this one is just already so nice. 
I want to do something different, something that I've never done before. We're going to use number 517. And we are going to go into the shade Corazon. And it's this gorgeous red right here. And we, oh my God, look at it. Just like one tap. Okay, so we're just going to put that right here into the crease and out. I'm just going to kind of lay a base here. Kind of work it out. I just want to build it up in the crease. And this is going to be our first shade. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And I'm going to use the transition brush that I just used for the brown shade. So we're gonna go back in with this red. And just keep blending. And I'm okay with it coming down onto my whole lid because I kind of want it to end up being there anyways. I think I'm just going to do an all matte. I don't think I'm going to use a shimmer. I'm just going to use that matte shade. I had this vision and that is what I'm sticking to. I've had this thought in my head for a while now of what I'm going to do with this. Now I'm going to go in with this um, I'm going to go in with Sangri, Sangri, Sangri. I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I'm going to put that all in my crease. So we're just going to use these two colors. Again, I've had this in my head since I first saw this palette and I wanted to do this. So I'm also going to go in with this Morphe M506 brush, just my handy dandy trusty brush that I always use for eyeshadow and I'm just going to use that to kind of put it exactly where I want it. Just that other one, just a little bit too loose of a brush. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh my god, this is incredible. I'm telling you, I would just want it nice and dark and sultry, like a vampire-y look here. That's what we're going for. If you hear any like creaking or anything banging against the house, it's because we're in the middle of a nor'eastern. Just kind of came out of nowhere. And it's been kind of windy and rainy for these last two days. It hasn't been the most pleasant thing. Oh my goodness, this stuff blends amazing, and it's so pigmented. I freaking love this. Oh my god. This is such a pretty shade. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'll blend it down. So, I'm gonna mix the two and just kind of pat that on. This next step, um, first I'm gonna conceal and kind of sharpen the edges a little bit. So I'm gonna just take my LA Girl Concealer, just kind of messy, excuse how disgusting it might look. That's a lot, it does not need to be that much. All right, so I'm just gonna clean that up just a little bit. Just gonna blend it away. There we go. Okay. Kind of blend that away there. I'm going to try something. Might not work. I know it has been done before. So now we're going to follow in with the liner brush, which is number 96. And we are going to get a little bit of concealer on this. We're going to see how this goes. Okay, so we're going to get just a little bit of concealer because we don't want to have to blend it. So we're going to just make it a little closer. 
this for you guys. So we're gonna get just a little bit of concealer and kind of try and and try to line our eyes with it. Just to kind of give us a base. And back in with some more concealer. Again, just to give a base. We don't want too much. So now that we have our eyeliner base, now we are going to go in with our actual eyeliner and we are going to see just how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness. We are going to use this for eyeliner. So we're going to dip in this beauty. I don't even want to dip into it. It just looks so perfect. So we're going to dip into the eyeliner and oh, it's so creamy and so pretty. I don't want to even use it. It's so pretty. Okay. And now we're going to use this eyeliner on this look and see how this looks together. Oh, it's actually kind of really cool. go in all right I'm just gonna go in with this number 818 really quick and just kind of re-fluff out this just really quick. Alright, so here so here are the eyes and that's actually really pretty. Um, I like it a lot. I don't know. So everything blended so smooth and so pretty and I'm really obsessed with this look. I'm happy that it actually turned out really well because again, I've been thinking about this for a long time. So yeah, I'm going to put on eyeliner really quick and mascara and I'll be back. All right, so I have my eyeliner and my mascara on and I really love these eyeshadows. I mean, first off, they're so pigmented. One little dab in there and it's incredible color. And two, they blend so perfectly and they really blend so easy together. Like, I feel like anybody could just blend them together. It was really, really simple to get the colors to mesh together. And the eyeliner is so pigmented and smooth. I, I can't even say enough. Like, I already love melt shadows, but this is just insane. I love it so much. I have the rust and the, um, I have the rust stack and the dark matter stack. And so and now I have these two and I had never used like a full on palette from them before, but this is just so good. So I really love this. And, um, yeah, if you guys want to see a video on the other one, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit under my eyes and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to, I'm going to use the 517 brush and just kind of put a little bit of color under there with just some of the red. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the red. Really, it's just what was left on my brush is what I'm using right now. I'm 
this stuff is so pigmented that's literally what I just used was just what was left from putting in my crease all right so now that that's done we are going to test out the highlighter and for that we're gonna get it out of its adorable case here and we are going to apply this to our face and it's so pretty look at this oh and it's a magnetic closure i love that it's so awesome and it's this gorgeous gorgeous highlighter and it's like gold with shifts of pink it's very pretty so we're gonna use that and for this i'm going to use this morphe mb23 and i'm just going to, i don't even want to dip into this just look how pretty this is and oh it's so creamy and so pretty i don't want to even use it it's so pretty okay and now we're gonna use this eyeliner on this look and see how this looks together oh, it's actually kind of really cool I'm just gonna go in with this number 818 really quick and just kind of re-fluff out this just really quick. So here are the eyes and it's just actually really pretty. Um, I like it a lot. So everything blended so smooth and so pretty and I'm really obsessed with this look. I'm happy that it actually turned out really well because again, I've been thinking about this for a long time. So yeah, I'm going to put on eyeliner really quick and mascara. All right, so I have my eyeliner and my mascara on and I really love these eyeshadows. I mean, first off, they're so pigmented. One little dab in there and it's incredible color and Two, they blend so perfectly and they really blend so easy to get. And the eyeliner is so pigmented and smooth. I, I can't even say enough. Like I already love melt shadows, but this is just insane. I love it so much. I have the Raz stack and the Dark Matter stack. And so and now I have these two and I had never used like a full on palette from them before, but this is just so good. So I really love this. And um, yeah, if you guys want to see a video on the other one, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit under my eyes and I'm going to use the 517 brush and just kind of put a little bit of color under there with just some of the red. Just gonna use a tiny bit of the red. All right, so now that that's done, we are going to test out the highlighter. We're gonna get it out of its adorable case here. And it's so pretty, look at this. Oh, and it's a magnetic closure. I love that. It's so awesome. And it's this gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter. And it's like gold with shifts of pink. It's very pretty. So we're gonna use that and for this, I'm going to use this Morphe MB23. I'm just going to, I don't even want to dip into this. Just look how pretty this is. We are going to dip in with our brush and just lightly dig into the pan and apply it onto our face. Where our nose and our lip so it's, it's really pretty i mean it's actually kind of subtle you can definitely see some shifts of pink in there i'm gonna swatch it with my finger oh there we go so you can see it's got like that gorgeous pink glitter to it and the little shifts of pink it's really pretty but you can definitely tell it's pink i really like it a lot I like how subtle it is. I mean, you can definitely tell there's pink in it, but it also looks gold in sunlight. And then, so we're gonna go on with the, we're gonna go in with the Monarcha shade. It's the orange shade. I know it's not really gonna go with the eye look, but I really just wanna try this. I love orange lips, so I'm super pumped. Um, oops, I just made a mess with it, trying to get it out of its tube. It smells really, really good. That's random, but it smells really good, <laughs> so. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead on some bright orange lips. 
apparently I had something on my face. Hold on. So now. Now we're gonna do our orange lip. It's super smooth. Or really, really creamy. All right, so we have super bright orange lips with our really dark red eyes, but that's okay because it is so pretty. I really love this. It goes on smooth. It dries really quick, um, but there's definitely plenty of time to work with it if you need. Um, but as it's drying, it's not so dry that my lips feel like they're cracking. Um, so that's a good thing. But all in all, I really, really like it all. I will say the only kind of base shade that there is is that first one I used the lighter brown but that's okay because it actually blends out really nicely into a soft brown and then just for the other shades I mean they blend just so well I can't say that enough and then the eyeliner I mean it went on smooth it was really nice color I was kind of worried that it wouldn't stand out against the colors in the look but it actually stands out really really well and um the highlighter it's cute i don't think it'll be for everybody just because the fact that it's a like gold and pink um if you don't want a bright pink highlighter on your face then i don't think it's going to be for you and if you don't like the glittery aspect to it i don't think it'll be for you just because as the light does hit it it is pink. But yeah, there is glitter. I mean, you can definitely tell it's there, but it is really, really gorgeous. So if you don't really want a pink highlighter when certain light hits it, then you're probably not gonna like the highlighter, but I think it's really pretty and I love it. And you can always use it for like on your eye. And then for the lipstick, I really loved it a lot. Um, it goes on smooth. Again, you have plenty of time to work with it um, and it doesn't dry too matte to where it's uncomfortable. Um, yeah, so that's, all and this is my final look and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it and yeah let me know if there's something else you want to see more looks with it me testing the other eyeliners or the other palette or the other lipsticks I'm sure there's gonna be a video coming of the other palette but if there's more that you guys want to see with this then let me know and I'll be happy to film it so thank you for watching my video and I hope you guys have a great day bye so I just wanted to go ahead and throw this in here for the picture. Um, I did end up putting a little bit of the purple over top of the orange to make a beautiful red to make this look come together a lot better than the bright orange. So yes, um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.